Hello friends, thank you for watching this video. Today I will share our full story of immigration from Russia and it will join all our stories because probably you know that we lived in Poland before the Netherlands but when did we leave Russia and why all these questions will be discussed today and I'll be happy to answer all your questions in the comment section below. And yes, I'm in the forest because today I'm also recording the second video about our fall favorites, which will be released after this one. Please watch it uh, to just get this atmosphere of living in the Netherlands during fall period. But let's get back to the topic of today's video, which is immigration from Russia. Both of us, Dima and I, we were born in Russia and we possess Russian citizenship and we lived there till our 20s. So I was born in the Ural Mountains, but I lived all my life in Kaliningrad with my parents because my father is a military officer and Kaliningrad was a city full of military people when I was a child and my father was referred there to live and to stay there uh, during his military service. But then he left the army and my parents already got used to Kaliningrad and we just stayed there. And because of the fortunate location of Kaliningrad, I had enough opportunities to travel to Europe when I was a teenager and when I was a young girl. So when I was a student, I traveled to Lithuania, to Germany, to Czech Republic, to Poland. And uh, I had this strange feeling that my destiny is to relocate from Russia and especially when I came back from my little travels I understood like I should relocate. Also things in Russia didn't get bad only this year they were bad other years before and I saw this strange social situations. I was also researching and simply comparing how things are done in Europe and how things are done there and uh, simple social standards and level of living and uh, security matters and uh, matters of tolerance to other people. They just gave me enough thoughts to relocate every time when I had a trip to Europe and I got back to Russia. So when I was at my last year of university, I got an internship in Poland. I lived in Krakow for three months. I had two internships actually in Krakow. The first one was in uh, translation. Actually, it was interpreting uh, that was live translation, like when you translate uh, live talks, right? Live speech. And the second one was in teaching in school. My first degree is linguistics and teaching. So when I came back from Krakow, I was super determined to go to master program there. So I was working all my student years and I was saving up for entering master program in Krakow, in Jagiellonski University, because there was a very strong university for linguists, translators. But guess why I didn't go to study there? Because I met Dima the same year and Dima and I, we decided to go of course, together to Poland, but to work there because it will be very hard financially to study there for both of us. So we started to research this topic and it turned out that there was a lot of work in Poland for Russian-speaking people uh, those years. So it was 12 years ago. So a lot of uh, Polish companies had business with Russian-speaking countries, with Belarus, with Russia, with Kazakhstan, with partially Ukraine, because those years Ukraine was okay with the Russian language. So yeah, there was a lot of work opportunity there and it was pretty cheap to live there in Poland those times. So we decided to get married in Russia, also because uh, we just felt like we wanted to get married and Dima proposed me and it was we had a very beautiful proposal and very nice wedding and also because from the legal point of view it's easier to get all the documents when you are a married couple and it's much easier but before Poland we also went to Germany and to Spain like to check out what's going on there uh, but we decided that these places are not really for us in terms of Spain, there was a big crisis those years and there was simply no work, especially for local people. But for me, it would be easier because I spoke Spanish at that moment pretty well. 
it's way better than I speak it now. So we came to Poland also in autumn in 2012, 10 years ago, and we started to search for the job. And we had precisely three months to stay there according to our visas, because we had to get visa there and because of our budget. So we had a very tight, tiny budget only for three months, which was enough only for our flat, which we rent and only for our food, which was also very modest. So we recall those times as very adventurous because the way we relocated that time would be we can't even imagine how we can do it right now. But we see other people who now run from Russia. They experience the same things we did 12 years ago. And of course, the refugees, they are also in a way harder positions. But those times were also hard for us. I remember how we were saving up for like two or three months to buy new shoes. We had some challenges we went through them and we stayed in Poland for eight years. Uh, we found our first jobs there which correlated with our uh, professional development. So Dima started his career in banks in anti-money laundering operations and I was a teacher of Russian at the beginning because well I'm a linguist so it was my um, primary and it was a nice position and teachers of Russian were very in need those times and I didn't speak Poland at the beginning but it was an advantage because I just didn't speak Poland I just came to the group and I say okay let's speak Russian because I don't understand you guys and it was very intensive for the group because they I just forced them to speak Russian with me as I was a teacher of Russian so and after that we changed several positions and I got my first job in marketing and then life happened and Ava came to our life. I got pregnant with Ava. So we lived in Warsaw and we bought our first flat in Warsaw. It was also a mortgage, but it was a good investment. But we didn't live there a lot because Dima got a very nice position in Krakow and we moved to Krakow when Ava was born. She was exactly three weeks when we moved to Krakow. It was also a very intensive time for me as a young mom as a new mom who, well, uh, didn't know even what to do with the baby, but also it was in a new place and we had to leave our lovely first flat. It was also a very emotional moment for me. We stayed in Krakow for two years. This was exactly the um, period of Dima's contract. And we got back to Warsaw after that because the climate in Krakow is not nice. It is a very polluted place. I still have some videos from Poland. You can check that out because when I started this channel in Poland and we got back to Warsaw and then life happened the second time and Olivia appeared and um, we moved to the center of Warsaw to the better flat to more spacious place for two children and then 2020 happened and Covid happened in the world and we were all stuck at home and we had a lot of time to think actually because when everything was closed we just took the kids and we went to the forest to walk to think to speak what we want from this life are we going to stay longer in Poland or not but also Dima started to receive different job opportunities from different countries because he grew in his career and he became an appreciated specialist and a lot of companies started to offer him a position in other countries. So there were plenty of options and there was Malta, there was Singapore, there was Australia and um, England, Sweden and the Netherlands. And this second time we were super serious about what we were doing because we had to sell the flat. We had to relocate with two children already which were small and uh, we understood that the second relocation is our let's say final relocation for the nearest years because we have to grow up the children and that's this responsibility of being a parent made all this situation more complex and also we felt that the society in Poland was changing and that the foreigners were not super welcome there anymore despite the fact that we were living in Warsaw which is the capital of Poland and Krakow which is the cultural capital of Poland we still felt this 
a bit of nationalism there, being Russian. And we felt that and I also had two unpleasant situations where I was uh, bullied, let's say frankly, being Russian there. Despite the fact that we speak fluent Polish and we meet Polish people <laughs> everywhere and we talk and we discuss the things. We just felt and we saw the proofs in the society that the society is changing uh, for the way which we don't feel comfortable anymore and we started to look for other options to relocate and uh, then the Netherlands then the opportunity at the Netherlands um, popped up and we decided to move here I did several videos about the reasons why we moved here but generally like the way this country lives totally correlates with our personal values and we are already here for two years. Now we see that we made the right choice. This is the story and I came to this forest intentionally just to share with you guys this our setting in which we took one of our most serious decisions in our lives which brought us to a better level of living and to a better way we feel ourselves and to the better future for our family and our children. Thank you guys for watching this video. It was very sincere, it was very open and I will be happy to answer your questions. Uh, maybe you have some questions to Dima. I will share them with him and see you in the next video where I will share our daily activities this autumn and our favorite and the things we love to do this autumn and to share with you some atmosphere of the beautiful places in Almeria in autumn. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Take care.